Alright, good morning everyone. I'm out at North Park again today. Fishing for these stocked brownies. Let's see if we can get any this morning. I was catching them over here last night. The bite really picked up. They were slamming my streamer. Now it's a little frozen over. I don't know how stealthy I'll be able to be. <laughs> There's another one going after it. Oh, they're stacked up in here. I saw one just come up and slam it. There's one. <laughs> nice little brownie there. He finally wanted it. Nice. Alright, first brownie of the day. Nice little guy. There he goes. Slam that little streamer. There we go. Here's another one. There we go, second fish of the day. There we go, second fish. Other one on that streamer. Yes, there's another one. A little better one. That guy's a little bigger. Nice, that's the biggest one of the day so far. There we go. Another little brownie. There you go. Cool. There's another one. Again, that's another, another decent one. Nice.
Smoked it. That guy's got some nice orange coloring on him. Look at that. Streamer is gone. Right there. <laughs> this guy just destroyed my fly, too. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna have to tie another streamer on. Just destroyed it. <laughs> so this is that little streamer pattern that I'm fishing. Um, it's just a little minnow imitation. And I'm working that right at the top of the water. And I'm seeing these fish come up and just slam it. Because, you know, you can fish power bait for trout. Oh, that guy was... Okay, hold on, that guy was hungry. Oh, we nailed it, too! As soon as I threw that thing in the water, he was on it. Missed him, though. But, yeah, it's like you can throw power bait for trout. And that's, like, kind of the go-to with the whole, like, stock trout stuff. But throwing streamers and, like, catching these more aggressive fish that are on top, I mean, it is just so much more fun. Oh, that guy's gonna eat, that guy's gonna eat. Oh, we missed it. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back. Slam, slam it. There he is. Like, you don't get that with power bait. You can't watch this fish come up and, like, chase it down and nail it twice. And this fish missed it about three times before he came back and ate it. Oh, that's awesome. This guy's got some pretty blue coloring on him as well. You can see it's a streamer right on the side of his mouth there. Nice. He'll come back for it. He'll come back for it. Yep, 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 yep. He's, he's, he's following, following, following. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. I wonder if I can get him to bite right at my feet. Oh, I know. He's spooked. Like, I wanted it so bad. That sun is kind of a pain. <laughs> Can't look over that way. Oh, see that guy just ate something off the water. Bet you, bet you, bet you he'll look for it. Or not, maybe he's got something going on. <laughs> He's got like a black head. He's swimming right towards me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> While that fish was <laughs> just swimming right towards me and I happened to just scoop him up into my net. Oh yeah, he's got a little gash on him. Look at that. He must have got bit by something. But, huh. Well, there we go. <laughs> Didn't even have to use a hook for that guy. Oh, oh follow, follow. Turned. So all I'm doing with this streamer is pretty much just keeping it right at the top of the water. Because I'm, I'm seeing these fish come up and like chase it and I mean granted I'm only in about maybe a foot it looks like it gets down there. But I'm seeing these fish come up and chase it and I'm keeping the streamer right at the top of the water. 
because I only want to pull up these real, like, aggressive fish. And I'm sure, you know, maybe if I let it sink a little bit, but I don't have any weight on this fly. So. Oh, yeah, see, that guy just nailed it. And he came back for it. And that's the other thing, I mean, I'm missing some of these fish, and like, they're eating the entire fly, but as soon as I go and cast right by their face again, it's like they do not care. There's that nice brownie. Alright, another good one. I didn't bring my polarized glasses with me and that sun is just blinding me. Can't even look over there. There's one. He popped. Quick release. <clears throat> right in front of me. <laughs> Smaller one. Hey, he popped. Nice. That's probably the smallest fish of the day, but still not a bad one. Cute. Might have to catch one more and then go get my sunglasses because I'm really not able to see my streamer anymore. It's a bigger one, for sure. There we go. Cool. Oh my gosh. He'll come back, he'll come back. He came back! There we go. Nice little chunky one there. Light colors on him. There's that streamer. Gotta say, I'm surprised at how many are in this little, like, creek section right here. I wonder how many fish I'm at. Oh, actually, I think I just had a follower right there and I pulled it right away from his face. There's one!
Another little guy. Ooh. <laughs> Is he still there? Is he still there? Dang. You wanted it. <laughs> well, that's not good. Yikes. Come here. Another one. Literally next cast. It's a pretty one. Yeah, this guy's got. I mean, pretty in relative terms, you know, when you're catching wild browns up at Penn State. And then you got, you know, these these fins that look like they've been just beaten. But eh, it's a pretty fish. Pretty for a, a stocked brownie. It's got those nice orange spots on them, which is kind of cool. Guys, it's too easy. Get yourself a little streamer and a fly rod and go out and catch all these like stock trout. <laughs> I gotta say, this is one of the only. Oh, he popped. This is one of the only times uh, that I've fished North Park with a fly rod. And like, I gotta. It, like, it's probably some of the most fun I've had fishing for stock trout. Because, like I said earlier, I mean, you can sit and you can wait for a fish to like eat your power bait but the fly rod is just so much more involved and it makes you you know a little more active whenever you're fishing as opposed to just sitting and not doing anything yep Alright guys, I think I'm going to have to go get my sunglasses for this next little stretch. I will be right back. Alright, so I just worked my way. I mean, I was fishing up by that tree. Got my polarized glasses and everything. And I figured, why not try and fish a little downstream, see if there's any fish down here. The sun, I mean, I'm probably just blinding you guys. But the sun's gone up quite a bit, so I don't know if these fish are still going to want to eat like a streamer on top. I'm sure if there's more, you know, aggressive fish in the mix, they wouldn't care. But usually those low light conditions are a little better for streamer fishing. 
We'll see. And I still had a crazy day already. I mean, my gosh, I'm at, I'd give myself 25 fish at least. Something crazy like that. I mean, I was catching like every single cast. Weird. Oh, well, oh, never mind, there's one. Nailed it. All right, yeah, it must have moved up a little bit. So that guy hit, oh, actually, hold on, there's one right here. <laughs> that guy hit as soon as I got to the water with some shade. So I guess they just don't like the sun. I'm gonna stay in this concealed area. They probably know that if they stay in the sun, they're gonna get, like, eaten by a bird or something. Nailed. There's another one with those like pretty blue markings on it. Nice. Hmm. The streamer bite might have died. They're probably still in here, I'd imagine. Don't see why they wouldn't be, unless I caught them all. <laughs> Yeah, see, I mean, like, there was one right there that just kind of looked at it. I don't think he was going to eat. There's one. Yep. He's a fighter. It's not a bad one. That's why. Got him in the fin, but he 100% swiped at it. But, eh, I mean, that's not a bad one, though. Pretty guy. <laughs> this pocket looks like it's a little deeper. I wonder if that's why they're not coming up. <sighs> now, I do have some other jig streamers that I tied last night, but they're literally in the car. I have to just suck it up and go get them. I should have just brought my backpack down. I don't know why I didn't. All right, yeah, I'm going to go switch up to a couple jig streamers that I tied last night. All right, so um, last night I went on a little bit of a, uh, a tying grind, and I got all these streamers that I was using earlier today, um, and then these jig streamers that I just tied up. Um, so this is the one I'm going to be fishing with right now, little, little black jig streamer, looks like a little leech, and, uh, see if we can get one on that. I did switch up also to a heavier tippet material, I got five pound test on here, um, earlier I was just using three and a half. 
All right, so just got that jig streamer tied on. Let's see if we can do any good with this. Yep, <laughs> instantly first cast. That's awesome. Dude came up and smoked it. Oh my gosh, that is too cool. Because I mean, I, I literally, I tied this yesterday. I tied that streamer last night and it is in a fish's mouth. Like, God, if you don't love fly fishing, get into it. Make your own flies, have fun. I mean, there's my jig streamer right there. Literally first cast. And that guy came up out of the tree and just slammed it. There we go. There's another one. That one's actually kind of pretty. There's that jig streamer. Nice fish. <laughs> no. I can't lose that. <laughs> But even if I lose it, I literally just saw in the water right here, there's like a, oh, that's cold. Is this a chatterbait? Yeah. <laughs> Big old chatterbait. But hopefully I can get this jig streamer back. I did tie three of them, so it's not like the end of the world if I lose it, but... Rip. Well, I have to tie more, that's for sure. Just had one follow it down there. Oh, he missed it. There's another one. Oh, jeez. Oh, we came up for it again. It's right there. He's right there. He's gonna eat. He's gonna eat. He ate. But I think I might have accidentally snagged him. But he totally swiped for it. Small guy. There he is. There's a follower. He ate. Nice.
Have a good one on that jig streamer. You can see it right in the corner of his mouth. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, there we go. We got one. Coming up for it. Dang. Like, they want it. Maybe I'm just not presenting it in the way that they are going to just, like, crush it. Oh, see, he just barely nipped the tail. It was, like, the smallest little eat. Yeah, I mean, for as many as I was catching over in that other, like, section, there has to be, like, 50 fish down here. Ooh, there's a, some good ones right in front of me. Perfect cast. Nailed it! Oh my gosh, but it came off! No! I'll come back. I followed it. I followed it. Alright, so I made my way to a little place that I was fishing yesterday. Um, I mean, there's so many fish in here, it's insane. But that guy's so gonna eat, he just turned on it immediately. Yeah, look at him. Oh, they're, they're ready to eat and they're busting everywhere, oh my gosh. So aggressive. Yes. Nice. Another one just hammered it. There he is. Nice. They're aggressive in that moving water. I like that. There we go. On that jig streamer. Nice. Darker one. That's pretty.
Big streamer just popped right out. There we go. That's a good one. Nice. That actually might be the biggest one of the day. Yeah, that's a chunky brown. Nice. There we go. Big old brownie. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Um, I kind of moved spots and tried fishing like the main lake right in front of me. But I gotta say, it was not a bad day. Absolutely smoked them this morning. Um, and seeing them eat and everything on the streamers, um, catching fish on that jig streamer that I tied last night. And I even tied those little white streamers last night too. So that was really cool to see. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.